Hey everyone, in today's vlog, we're gonna be sharing our top 20 experiences that we've done here in Dubai. We live, we've lived here a couple of months now and we did a ton of activities when we first got here. So we would thought we would share them all with you. In this video, we'll cover low budget, medium budget, and then also high budget activities. So there's something for everyone. And we're starting off with the Aura Sky Pool. So the Aura Sky Pool is actually one of our top performing vlogs as well. So it's a 360 degrees infinity pool. It's actually the highest in the world. So prices massively vary as well, depending on which area you want to sit. You can look at the Ain Dubai wheel, or you can look at the Burj Al Arab or the Palm. We chose to do the Ain Dubai and you either choose the morning or afternoon. It's around like 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. So is that three hours or four, four hours? Yeah, yeah so hours. it's a good amount of time to obviously get the experience and it's from 200 AED and 300 AED if you want the first row with Ain Dubai views. I just went on their website, you can just book online, but we had front row Ain Dubai views, it was pretty incredible, wasn't it? Absolutely amazing, yeah. I think that was, would have been my favorite area to sit, but yeah. each area is incredible in itself. You've got beds right at the front by the pool, which are a bit more expensive, mm -hmm. and then slightly smaller ones behind, the, it's a little less. Yeah. The whole vibe is really good. It's like a relaxed beach club style vibe. Amazing food, amazing mm -hmm. drinks, and of course, all about the views. So yeah, you can choose morning, afternoon, or full day. All their prices are on the website, depending on what times you want to go. We did find that there's quite a long waiting list now for the Aura Sky Pool. So if you're wanting to book, make sure you're looking at around four to five weeks in advance. Yeah, depending on where you want to sit, you yeah. can book quicker, if um, depending on how many guests and things like that. So the second experience that we did was dune bugging in the desert. I feel like this is a must do when you come to Dubai, you've got to go check out the desert. And the prices for that start at around 600 AED. And I think you can also do quad biking too, which is a little bit cheaper, or you can buy like a package of quad biking. We did quad biking, dune buggying, and then like dune bashing in this SUV. Yeah, so cool. You've got two-seater or four-seater dune buggies. So you can go with your family, your partner, or even just go on your own with other people. And the best way to look at the package holidays are through something like the tour brochure here. Yeah, so we're staying in the JBR area. And if you want to book the stuff that we're talking about from where we booked it, there's basically a little stand on the JBR walk. If you cross the road from the Rixos building and walk a little bit further down, a guy called Mustafa, and if you book a few things as well, they can give you a better price, but that's basically how we booked all of these things. But you can just go online, find different tour companies. We're not like sponsored by them or anything, but just sharing how exactly we booked them. Yeah. Third experience is for the adrenaline junkies. <laughs> yes, we're going to the higher end of the budget for this next one. It is the skydive. So one of the most amazing experiences that we've ever had and perhaps the coolest place in the world to do it. Yeah, I think this is my favorite thing that I've done out of everything. It is a little bit pricier, so it's 2,299, which is like 461 pounds or $625. But it's just a once in a lifetime experience. I'll never forget it at all. Um, if you can push yourself out of your comfort zone, we were a bit nervous, but it was so worth it in the end, wasn't it? Yeah, 100% worth it. A must do for at least once in your lifetime. Fourth thing that we're going to talk about is a little bit on the lower budget side and it's Top Golf. So it's like a driving range and you've got the beautiful Dubai cityscape in the background. We went in the evening with Olivia and Mason, our friends, and it was so much fun. There's quite a nice atmosphere like music. You can get food delivered to your bay and that was slightly cheaper. So the price for that was 180 AD in the night for Monday to Wednesday and then Thursday to Sunday is a little bit more. It's from 220 AED at night. So it depends when you go evening or morning, but that's the rough price. Yeah, it's an awesome activity for just with your friends or with your family because there are lots of different ways to score points when you're hitting the golf ball. So they yeah. have all different flags dotted around the driving range area. And then each one will have a different amount of points. So it is good for taking your family in that respect. It's a little bit more of a game yes, and family oriented definitely. experience rather than a traditional driving range. Yeah, we're definitely not like super no. golfers or anything like that. But yeah, you can basically get points. You can see how far and fast your ball went which is pretty cool. Next thing we did was the Dubai Expo. So you don't have much time left if you're watching this, um, obviously in 2022, because it ends on March 31st, but that's just a must-see kind of thing. It's awesome to see the different pavilions. And 
the entry is very cheap. It's like 45 dirhams. And if you fly Emirates, I think you can get free entry. Yeah, the whole project cost around 8 billion. So it is absolutely incredible to see. So mm -hmm. go check that out. Next thing, similar to the Dubai Expo, is the Global Village. So how do you explain the Global Village? <laughs> so if you're familiar with the Expo, it's like that, but mostly for food, I feel. Yeah. So it's like you've got lots of different stands from all around the world, lots of different countries promoting their foods, I would say perhaps like spices, clothing. Yeah, and then what I was going to say is there's a huge facade entrance. Yeah. So for example, Egypt might have a gigantic pyramid. Yeah. And India might have something Indian. <laughs> yeah, I know. The facades were incredible. Yeah. We went kind of 5 p.m. so we could see it in the evening too, which was really good. And we just bought tickets at the entrance. I think you can buy them online, but they're about 15 AD, so just three pounds. Yeah. Um, but I think that changes depending on season, so. And my hack for that one, if you're going with a woman or you are a woman yourself, they have a separate woman's queue there that you don't necessarily see. So it's at the entrance to the left and there is usually no queue there. And the main entrance has a lot of a bigger queue. Yeah, so, we got the tickets quite quick, didn't yeah. we? Next thing is a little bit on the higher price range and that is a private yacht. So we personally went on a yacht tour. You left from the Dubai Marina and you go all around the Palm to the Atlantis, then to the Burj Al Arab, back through the Palm, JBR area, and then back in. It was around three hours in total and I would definitely recommend that. I enjoyed it. Yeah, it was a private tour. You can have a variety of different boats. There are lots of rental companies here. Anything from a small speedboat up to all the way up to like 70, 80 foot mm -hmm. luxury, luxury yachts. Yeah. So there's lots to choose from depending on your budget. Yeah, definitely. I did get a price up. So a 48 foot private yacht up to 10 guests midweek at 12 to 3 p.m. So that's three hours. That was 2,300 dirhams. And then a 36 foot bow up to eight guests was 1,140 dirhams. So that's half the price, 228 pounds. Yeah. And they were quite big boats. But yeah, if you want to still do that experience, but on a lower budget, there's lots of like yellow boats, I think. And you just go on a little tour around basically the same thing. There's also an evening cruise from the marina that goes on for three hours. I think it's from around 7.30 oh, yeah. till 10.30. And that's on a luxury boat, but it's a big boat, so there'll be perhaps 100 guests on there, and lo lots of people that you might not know. <laughs> yeah, what am I, I know what you mean, public. Public, that's yeah. the word. Rather than it's not private. Yeah. And that's from 220 dirhams from this um, little brochure thing that we got from downstairs. Um, so that looks pretty cool. Yeah. And next two we're going to talk about are for the people that like being in the sky. Yeah, we're sticking with the higher budget on these next two. The first one is the helicopter tour. This was an absolutely amazing experience. So we took off from the Atlantis and we took a cruise around the Palm, around up towards the Burj Khalifa, the Dubai Frame, and we even got to see one of the Sheikh's private islands and their luxury villas as well. Yeah, that was pretty awesome. Then the next one is the hot air balloon. So, oh sorry, let's talk about the yeah. helicopter tour price. price. 649 dirhams for the helicopter. And that's from, you can have like it private, or you can have it shared, because there's quite a lot of seats. But yeah. And it's around a 30 one. to 40 minute experience. Was no, it, was I think it, it was 15 to 20 minutes. Oh. Yeah, it well, feels long. I was loving it, so it yeah. felt like a long time. Next one is the hot air balloon. So we drove out to the desert. I think we left at like 3.45, 4 a.m. or 4.45, sorry. Yeah. Sunrise hot air balloon experience. That was pretty incredible. Um, yeah, just seeing a hot, like they were so much bigger than I expected as well. You're yeah. in a basket with like 20 people. You've got like a harness on, so it's pretty safe. And loads of other hot air balloons around. Very relaxing experience flying yeah. above the sand dunes. You can see lots of camels, some of the Dubai, um, buildings in the background and everything mm -hmm. and that went on for like 40 minutes yeah that was a bit more on the pricier side especially compared to the helicopter tour the price of that was from around a thousand AD so around 200 pounds yeah it was a very interesting experience we're like floating in the air um the landing was hilarious though remember we crash oh, landed we did crash land yeah <laughs> so we got the chat with the pilot the whole way which is quite fun and we actually found crash landings are more common than you might think yeah when it's windy it kind yeah. of like the basket you have to like do a squat and that was actually the funnest part. It was part. okay, it was fun. It was like a controlled crash <laughs> yeah, landing, if that makes good. sense. Um, next one, actually, should we do the two hikes? Yeah, two one. hikes. So we'll go on to two free activities now because some of the best things in life are free. Yeah. And we've done two amazing experiences here, two hikes. The first one is Fossil Rock, mm -hmm. an amazing experience where you get to climb up the sand dunes, you climb up around the Fossil Rock itself. 
Um, and the <laughs> view from the top is just amazing. Yeah, so we left, you probably need a car for this one because we left at around 3.45. It's probably like an hour drive. And then as we were walking up at the top, we saw the sunrise and we went with people that lived in Dubai. But if you type in Fossil Rock in Google, it should come up with the location. And then the second hike, we went to a mountain called Jebel Chase. And it's like a huge area there. So lots of different hiking trails. They're not like obvious hiking trails because we went with people that have been a lot of times. But when we arrived there, there was quite a few other people. So. Yeah, I would say it's more of an advanced trail. It's not somewhere yeah. you go like with young kids or anything like no. that, for example. Um, it's quite a lot of hands and feet, mm. you know, full yeah. on trekking, <laughs> um, but an amazing experience in itself. So we've got a few other free th things that we'll talk about later. Back on to some cool adventures. We've got Deep Dive Dubai. That was an amazing experience. Yes. So there is a 60 meter deep pool in the middle of the Dubai desert and it's called Deep Dive Dubai. And you can go there and you can learn to scuba dive, you can learn to free dive. We went scuba diving, we went down to 10 meters mm -hmm. and underneath this or within this pool, it's like a whole world. You've got Mercedes Benz cars, a Ducati motorbike, uh, an old apartment. And um, it's all obviously custom built for the pool. And you can go all the way to 60 meters if you're qualified and you have the right yeah. paddy license and everything. But we don't have any of that and we still got to go to 10 to 12 meters, which allowed us to experience a lot of the things. Yeah, exactly. I think if, you get the, if you've got the paddy license, you can go deeper. If you don't have a paddy license, you just need to do like, it was like 20 minutes of just a briefing kind of thing. If the defibrillate, not, you know, the thing that goes, the regulator yeah. comes out your mouth and prices for that from 1800 dirhams and then you can do snorkeling from 400 dirhams and then free diving which we really want to do is 1000 dirhams yeah but prices will obviously vary depending on i think it's more if you don't have a paddy license yeah because they've got to train you a little yeah. bit and there's also a facility tour if you don't really feel like yeah. diving and you just want to go check it out you can also book that so see the website it is really cool, cool to see. the facility it's yeah. it feels like a really modern futuristic lab yeah and wasn't it privately owned? One of the divers said it was privately owned by one of the sheikhs for a while. So it's recently open to the public. So definitely check that out. Okay, next, next up, um, sticking with the water sports, we've got wakeboarding. Yeah. Now you can do wakeboarding in the sea on the JBR beach, I think on the Kite Beach area of Dubai, but we actually went over to Abu Dhabi, which is like an hour drive away for an inland wakeboarding experience where they use like zip lines to tow you around. And it was really, really cool because as more of a beginner, you get to have lots and lots of goes and you're not in the sea so it's easier there's got a lot of instructors there but a really really fun experience they've got like a beginner's area intermediate and then advanced with jumps and some yeah. really cool features yeah so that's in abu dhabi and it's one hour away so oh no sorry not one hour away for one hour it's 130 dirhams and you do need to take your passport if you decide to go and i when we went, we had to show a negative PCR test. Yeah. And it's called Al Fosan Wakeboarding Park, if you want to Google it. But They've got a lot of other cool things yeah. there. I think we're actually going to go back. For example, you can do um, go-karting, archery. archery, horse riding. Gun shooting. Gun shooting. There's loads. There's a gun range. Yeah. Thing. So a great place to maybe go with the family for the day mm -hmm. if you want to go over to Abu Dhabi. Yeah. And that's more on the low to medium budget. Mm -hmm. Next up, we have the Ain Dubai wheel. So this is the big wheel on the JBR beach, which is recently opened. A bit more relaxing if you want to go up to, you know, see the view from the sky, but not in a helicopter or a balloon. It's the largest man-made Ferris wheel in the world with perhaps one of the coolest views. So mm -hmm. you can hop on board. There's perhaps 20 people in each carriage, or you can book the private VIP booth with like champagne and bougie snacks. <laughs> but the normal one was good for us. And the price of that one was? This was from 130 dirhams. And you can book online, but we just got the tickets at the entrance. So yeah. it was pretty easy. There wasn't too much of a queue, to be fair. It wasn't too bad, no. perhaps 10, 15 minutes and then straight on. And we went at sunset. So we went on at like 5 p.m. So as we were going around, we saw the sunset, which was, which was really nice. Next thing is the Burj Khalifa. So you can go to the top of the Burj Khalifa. Well, it's not exactly the top top, but I think it's like a level 125. Yeah, you can only go to the very top top if you will Smith. Yeah. Well, <laughs> did you see that new video with that Emirates? Oh, the Emirates uh, hostess. had that. Yeah. That was cool. That was really cool. Yeah. Um, so a fun activity, fun. one of those things to do, just like everyone knows the Burj Khalifa in Dubai. 
to be able to go up the tallest building in the world is pretty mm -hmm. amazing. It was quite busy, so not my favorite experience, but I still think it was cool to do. Yeah. Next up, similar, is the Dubai frame, which is basically a big frame. And if you look at the Dubai frame, it's supposed to have the new Dubai and then look back with, at the old Dubai. And it's like in a big picture frame. And we saw this really well from the helicopter tour. And you basically go in the frame, go up the side of it, and then on the top, there's this really cool glass floor where the glass panes are like foggy or private. What's it called when it's like misty? Yeah, yeah. misty is good. And when you step on it, it goes see-through. So you can see right down to the bottom. That was quite fun. Yeah, we did that quite Sweet early games. on when we got here, actually, if you watch that vlog. Yeah. But we'll link every vlog that we talk about, every activity in the description below if you want to watch them in more detail. It was like the Squid Games, wasn't it? When they did yes. the jump on the glass. Good job we didn't fall down, though. Yeah, thank God. So next up on the medium budget, oh. we've got the Dubai frame still, actually, the price. 50 dirhams, which 50 is dirhams. low budget. Yeah, low budget. Okay, so next up is Atlantis Water Park. We went there with Casper Lee and Amber. And that was an amazing experience. That's good. It's a really, really cool place to go. To. It's one of the biggest water parks in the world. I think so, yeah. It's got an incredible slide that you can go through and you're within like a big aquarium tank. So you can see mm. sharks, stingrays, and lots of other fish. And you're in a water slide, so that's amazing. They have lots of different variety for all of the family and they actually have a very scary one too. Yeah, Matt did one of the most scary ones where you go in like a little cubicle and it just drops you. That was, I wasn't, heavy enough to do that one because there's like a weight limit um but yeah i was kind of uh, pleased that i couldn't do that one because it did look scary that was pretty intense <sighs> okay next there's actually another water park called wild wadi which we haven't been to wild wadi okay and talking of water sports another thing we did was jet skiing jet skiing was really fun we went on christmas day we did that there's a couple yeah. of different places to jet ski here in dubai so there's your kind of sport for choice mm -hmm. on the jbr beach where we're living you've got one from the rixos hotel and then we went actually down the beach a little further because we found it was quite a lot cheaper there and it was for the same place yeah so it's always worth looking looking around and so that was did we go for 30 minutes or was that yeah 30, i think it was minutes? around 30 minutes and it was i can't remember exactly but on this brochure it was 350 dirhams which seemed it was like 50 or 60 pounds i think yeah um, okay, next thing, I've just got my little notebook that I wrote Yeah, we've done down. quite a few activities, so we have to yeah. remember all of them. So, we were gonna, another free one was, if you're mm -hmm. coming to Dubai and you like supercars, we went to a car festival with Porsches, mm -hmm. and then on the 50th UAE anniversary, there was a huge, like, rally of cars coming on the JBR um, walk bit, Bugattis, Porsches, so I was just thinking, if you like cars, definitely Google like car events in Dubai. Yeah. I think. Yeah, yeah, 100%. And also there are quite a few events always on in Dubai. So mm -hmm. it's always worth for the time that you're here just Googling what's on. Yeah, that's true. Next thing we would say, go check out the big aquarium in the shopping uh, mall. Yes, that's a great free activity. If you want to go head to the mall. Well, I say yeah. free. Once you're in that mall, you can't get spend. sucked into buying <laughs> something. But there's a amazing aquarium. Um, an ice rink. Yeah, an ice rink. There's also a dinosaur fossil. Oh yeah, we did see that. Yeah, of a huge dinosaur. And then in the Mall of Emirates Mall, there's Ski Dubai, like a ski slope. We haven't yet done that activity. No, we need to do that. We've got so many more to still do. We've been too busy to do activities. When we first got here... We did like a holiday. We did quite a few, yeah. But now we've been too busy, but we want to keep doing some more. So let us know in the comments mm. below if there are any activities that we haven't talked about that you know of here yeah. that you think we should check out and vlog. There's really cool. a really cool mosque in Abu Dhabi, the big white mosque. And I want to go to a place called Hatta Dam. A lot of okay. people have recommended that. Is that the big lake? Yeah, it's the big lake. And yeah, there's flyboarding, you know, when you've got those jetpack things on your feet, parasailing. Honestly, guys, there's so much to do. Like, we've done loads, but mm. it's not even, we've got still so much more to, yeah. to have fun with. 100%. So we hope you've enjoyed our review on these activities and kind of summary of them. So if you're coming to Dubai, it might be mm -hmm. useful for you. Um, please hit that like button. Um, if you could do that, that would be much appreciated. <laughs> yeah. And please remember to subscribe for future vlogs. You can go back and watch all our specific vlogs on all these activities because we did pr pretty much vlog every experience. And then we're going to do some more fun things and I'm sure we'll vlog them as well. 100%. Okay, make sure you subscribe to our vlog channel so you can see all of these amazing adventures and we will see you in our next video. See you later.